In this video, we are going to do an introduction to functions. A relation is a pairing of numbers in one set called the domain with numbers in another set called the range. A relation is often represented by a set of ordered pairs, x, comma, y. The domain is the set of all x values and the range is a set of all y values. The difference between a relation and a function is a function is a special relationship that pairs each x value with exactly one y value. So all of your x values need to be unique. Let me switch that. So if we look down here, it says determine if the following relations are functions. If an x value repeats and goes to a different y value, then the relation is not a function. So if your x values repeat and go to a different y, then it's not a function. So on example one, we have three ordered pairs, five, negative one, negative five, negative one, and two, negative four. What you wanna focus on are your x values. Here, all of my x values are different. So because all of my x values are different, this is a function. Your domain is all of your x values and you want to use the little squiggly lines that you see up here. If you have a hard time, this is called a brace. If you're having a hard time drawing a brace, you can just draw a squiggly line, but a parenthesis and a bracket mean different things. So if you can't draw the brace, draw a squiggly, but you can't do either one of these because those represent something else. So, we need to write our x values in order from least to greatest. My smallest x value is negative five. My next smallest x value is two. And then my last x value is five. So you always wanna write from least to greatest. Your range is your y values. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna use a brace. Your y values are negative one, negative one, and negative four. Again, we wanna write these values from least to greatest. My smallest y value is negative four. And then my other y value is negative one. Notice how negative one repeats here. You only need to write it once when you are writing your domain, or sorry, your range. And again, you always wanna write these from least to greatest. So from smallest to largest. Go ahead and pause the video and try example two. So on example two, first we need to figure out if this is a function. To figure out if it's a function, you're looking at your x values. If an x value repeats and it goes to a different y, then it is not a function. So is example two a function? The answer is no. And the reason why is because five repeats and seven repeats. So here five is going to three, but in this one it's going to eight. And with the sevens, this seven is going to seven, but this seven is going to six. So no, because five and seven repeat. Even though it's not a function, we can still find the domain and the range. Your domain are all your X values and you need to use your braces. So we're gonna write our X values from least to greatest. My smallest x value is over here at negative eight. And then I have five and then I have seven. 
Again, if a value in your domain or range repeats, you only have to write it once. Now I'm going to find my range. My range is my y values from least to greatest. So my y values are 3, 7, 6, 8, and negative 6. My smallest y value is negative 6. And then I'll have 3 and then 6, 7, and 8. So those are my range values. On examples 3 and 4, we're doing the same exact, uh, same exact thing, except for here, instead of writing it as ordered pairs, it's written for us in table form. So we want to figure out, is example 3 a function? Well, we are going to look at the x values. Do any of your x values repeat? No, all of our x values are different. So this is a function. Your domain are your x values from least to greatest. So those x values are negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Your range is your y values from least to greatest. So here are all my y values. My smallest y value is 0, and then 1, and 4. Again, 1 repeats, but I only have to write it once. 4 repeats, but I only need to write it once. Your y's can repeat, and it can still be a function. It will only not be a function if your x values repeat and they go to different y values. For example, 4, is this one a function? Well, let's look at our x values. Here, 0 repeats. Here, 0 goes to negative 3, and 0 goes to 0. But also, 1 goes to negative 1, and 1 goes to positive 1. So this is not a function because 0 and 1 repeat. Your domain is your x values from least to greatest. My small x, x value is 0, and then 1, and then 2. Your range is your y values from least to greatest. So that's going to be negative 3, negative 1, 0, 1, and 3. Whoops. 3. If we look at the next page, these two examples are called mapping. And they're basically just giving us a table of values here. So when I look at this mapping, this is telling me negative 2 maps to 3. 5 maps to negative 4. 6 maps to negative 1. And 1 maps to 5. I want you to think of it as this is the x, this is the input. And this is y, the output. So if you wanted, you could think of this as a table of values. Negative 2 maps to 3 means that you have the ordered pair negative 2, 3. 5 maps to negative 4 means that you have the ordered pair 5, negative 4. This would be 6, negative 1, and 1, 5. So if it helps, you can translate the mapping into a table of values or a set of ordered pairs to figure out if it is a function or not. So is this one a function? Yes, all of your x values are different. They are all unique. Your domain are your x values from least to greatest. So it's going to be negative 2, 1, 5, and 6. Your range is your y values from least to greatest. So that's going to be negative 4, negative 1, 3, and 5. We want to know if example 6 is a function. Again, if it helps you, think about this is the input, the x values, and this is the output, or the y values. So what do you think? Is example 5 a function? The answer is no, and that's because if you look here, 4 is going to two different y values. So if you were to make a um, table of values here, 
negative one, three, and then you would have four negative one, but you would also have four negative four and one five. Here your four is repeating. Because four repeats and goes to two different y values, that makes this not a function. Your domain are your x values from least to greatest. So that's gonna be negative one, positive one, and four. And your range is your, oops, your range is your y values from least to greatest. So that is going to be negative four, negative one, three, and five.